Now on Bloomberg Intelligence, Muni's In Focus. All right, today's Focus on Muni's is brought to you by Build America Mutual. BAM Mutual insures a municipal bonds that finance essential infrastructure and provides guaranteed income to improve any portfolio. Be part of Building America. Invest in BAM insured bonds. There you go. That's how we roll here. Eric Kozaski joins us, Bloomberg Intelligence Senior Municipal Strategist. Eric, I'm going to let you do a little bit of a victory lap here. You Muni guys had a heck of a September. Tell us about it. Huge September. Best returns in over a decade. You know, it really speaks to the demand uh, for tax exempt income and just the overall interest in our space. Uh, you know, I think, and we said this before on our previous conversations, the closer we get to this election and we find out more what the tax situation is going to be, the more municipals are really going to become a national topic as far as being a part of portfolios that really aren't being thought of right now. So this municipal, I've always been a fan of munis. What's changed well, in a month? Well, I know you have, yeah. I mean, what, what's changed in a month? Um, what's really, I mean, I guess is it kind of getting closer to the election, but if anything in the structure of the market or the fact that the Fed has, in fact, started on a rate-cutting move? Well, I really think it's a fact that a lot of the rate move that the Fed actually, you know, came out and cut the 50 and whatever proceeded before it was being priced into the market and especially being priced into the market on the muni side of the things, right? So what you had was an overall interest in locking in some longer term yields uh, in the muni market. Uh, and so that really drove the demand side and you had a lot of cash coming back to investors. So you really had sort of that fear of higher taxes uh, coming in and being pulled forward into September and it really benefited performance. New issuance, how's that looking? Because yeah. I know in the corporate bond market, September was just a record. How about in the muni space? You know what, really keeping a heady pace. We're in that 35 to 40% year over year, although I think it's going to sort of moderate here, right? Okay. Rates are creeping back up, although munis really aren't as reactive as treasuries today. Um, so, you know, a lot of that was anticipating, you know, the Fed being a lot more active and a lot of refundings coming back into the market. So if rates sort of stay elevated here and inflation is entrenched, as you guys just mentioned, you know, that could be a problem for new issue sales going forward. I'm an ETF reporter, and when I think yeah. munis, I think yeah. about the flood of new muni bond ETFs that are coming onto this market, particularly in the high yield space. Yeah. What, are, what are we supposed to make of that, Eric? What is that kind of signaling about uh, the current muni bond market? I think it's a good thing. It shows that there's a willingness and ability of a lot of these product managers to sort of rethink the old ways of doing things, where which were mutual funds, and to sort of, you know, appeal to a, a younger cohort, let's say, right? Because a lot of what we're seeing being uh, pitched in our space and coming to the market are really active ETFs, which are just ETF wrappers around a mutual fund. And it's being done on the high yield side. And performance has been really strong. So it really gives them a strong story to go out because you have increased liquidity, most of the times cheaper fees and better performance right now. So really sort of a trifecta to hit on people with. Another big news item over the past week has been Hurricane Helene, and we've been talking to Matthew Palazzola. He's the insurance analyst for Bloomberg Intelligence about the insured and uninsured uh, losses out there. How about an initial bond market, uh, Eric? Is there any risk to any of those issuers in some of those hard-hit areas? Risk is a very subjective term when it comes to our market, and I will qualify by saying there really is no history of a rated bond default due to a natural disaster in the municipal space, right? And really, we're, that's sort of the line we have when we talk to clients. But this is really sort of uh, a unique event in the fact that this storm touched about 91 different counties. And so we put together a you know, pretty large database of sort of all the municipal bonds that were tangentially affected, and we calculated about $31 billion. I think the problem is, especially in the areas that were the hardest hit with flood water is that really flood insurance was non-existent and in Buncombe County you really had like one percent of the homes that actually had flood insurance so the problem is really going to be getting that tax base back to where it was pretty clean any credit risks out there that you guys or any issuers in particular that are getting the, the attention of your market you know, it's always Chicago. It's always Chicago public schools, which are <laughs> grabbing national attention. You know what? But the market is arms wide open, and they're happy to keep financing them at, you know, market rates that are, you know, what I would say very tight spreads. But uh, until and unless there's a market penalty, issuers are going to keep coming to the muni market and find very well reception. You know, I, I, one of the things I've noticed about the new issue market, and I pay attention to that probably the most closely in the muni space, is there's been some billion-dollar deals. I mean, some big yeah. size deals, and I don't usually – see that so a is that unusual this year and b if it is why you know what I, I think it had to do with a lot of that tax fear coming forward um a lot of activity with bankers you know sort of getting ahead of that um but the market's reception the market has grown it's matured right you have a lot like 
a lot of those ETF products, a lot of those fund products, you know, which are looking to do deals in size and which are willing and able to sort of fund a lot of those off the run infrastructure projects, which happen to be larger. Um, but it's not only the larger deals that are interesting in our market, there's smaller deals that are pretty interesting as well. You know, one of the things that's coming up on the calendar is a, a small stadium deal about 70, $80 million for the Chattanooga lookouts, right? Yes. So what's interesting is just the bond coverage on something like that is like 30 to 40 times the debt service. So it's interesting just like when sort of you dig in the weeds in the mini market, that's where really the beauty lies. Tennessee lookouts. Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. Roscoe Tanner, tennis player back when I was a kid, Just sticks with me for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, Eric Kazaski, thanks so much for joining us. Bloomberg Intelligence, senior municipal strategist. Uh, the best month in performance in over a decade for the Muni. So how about those folks taking a victory lap?